Hi, Andrew Quitmeyer here. Um, I am a scientist and designer and researcher um, over at Georgia Tech. I'm doing my PhD, and in just a week from now, I'm going to be headed down to Madagascar for part of the dissemination lab uh, with some other really great designers and researchers and scientists like Brian Fisher um, from the California Academy of Sciences and Hannah Perner Wilson. Uh, so, to you today, we have a design challenge. Your design challenge is going to be to use your equipment that you have available um, to do some sort of environmental tracking. So, here's what you need to do build a device that can take some sort of information from the environment. So, detect changes in humidity, uh, temperature, light sound. Uh, there's a bunch of different things that you can detect what's happening in an environment where wild animals live. Then, what you need to do is have your device do something. So whenever it detects some sort of change, it gets hotter, it gets colder, it gets darker, it gets windier. Um, make your device respond back into the world. So you could have it blink or beep or write data down onto an SD card that you can load into Microsoft Excel or something like that. Um, this uh, should be pretty cool and fun. Some cool, some good device, some good design tips for you. Um, when you are tracking something in your environment, try to be as specific as possible. For instance, uh, we all know that uh, during the daytime, it's warmer. During the night, like right now, it's, uh, it's a lot colder outside. Uh, if you just have a temperature monitor and that's all you want to ask about the environment, it's not as interesting. It's like, oh, look, it got hotter when the sun was out. Um, but if you can try to be more specific, for instance, if you want to find out how the temperature changes inside of an ant nest, versus inside of a squirrel's nest or something that you find. Um, think about where you are putting your sensors um, and how you are putting your sensors, because uh, those can help you ask a lot more very specific and very interesting questions. So once you make your own projects, we want you to share them back with us, and we're going to try to recreate your projects, or at least a couple of them if we can, um, while we are in Madagascar next week. Uh, so we're going to be hiking around Madagascar, building different devices. Um, I'm not in Madagascar right now, I'm just in, actually just in Atlanta, out in my backyard. Um, but we're going to be, uh, but I've been preparing and packing up all kinds of uh, goodies and electronics to bring with us to hike around and build stuff out in the wild. And so, uh, if you build your thing, share it with us. We're going to try to build your idea in Madagascar, and then we can do kind of a comparative test. Uh, maybe your ants make things warmer, uh, and our ants, for some reason, it makes it cooler. Uh, so we'll be able to see the difference between where you live and where we live in Madagascar. And also, it'll give us just a fun challenge of something to try to build while we're completely in the wild and cut off from electricity and lots of the basic things that you need for um, hacking and building electronics. So I hope you have a good time and it should be a really fun challenge and just remember try to find something in the environment, uh, make your device react to it, and try to be very specific. That's the key to making a really interesting project. Okay? Thanks a lot. Bye.